Now here's an application dealing with area. A rectangular floor measuring 8 feet by 6 feet is to be completely covered with square tiles measuring 8 inches on each side. How many tiles are needed to completely cover the floor? We're going to begin by finding the area of this floor. The since it's a rectangular floor, we find the area by multiplying the length times the width. That is, we'll multiply 8 feet times 6 feet. The area is going to equal 48 square feet. Now, we're going to try to determine the size of an individual square tile. Notice that this was given to us in the unit of inches. So if we have a tile, let's just draw it. What would that be in terms of feet? Well, it would be 8 twelfths of a foot on each side. So the area of one tile is going to be found by multiplying, and I'm going to go ahead and reduce, we have 2 thirds of a foot squared. So we're multiplying the length times the width. We're going to come up then with 4 ninths square feet for the area of one tile. If we're trying to determine now how many tiles are needed to completely cover the floor, we need to take the area of the floor and divide that by the area of one tile. That's going to give us 48 square feet divided by 4 ninths square feet per tile. Now, we're going to evaluate that by taking 48 and we're dividing by 4 ninths. That's going to give us 48 multiplied times 9 fourths. Notice that the 4 will divide into 48 12 times. We'll multiply 12 times 9 to give us 108. In this problem, when we look at our units, we've got square feet divided by square feet per tile. What's going to happen is the square footage is going to divide out, and as we took the reciprocal here, the tile would end up being our unit for the problem. So we need 108 tiles.